it's Miss Y from Maker Monday. Today's project is a mini zine. It has a cover, it has pages on the inside. It's really cute and it's fun to trade with your friends. The best part about this zine, you only need a piece of paper and some scissors. And then of course, something to color with. No staples, no glue, no tape. I know. I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. Here's what you need. A pair of scissors and a normal piece of paper. Fold your paper in half lengthwise. Some people call this hot dog style. It should be long. Next, fold it in half this way. And one more time in half again. This will be the final size of your book. Give it really good creases. I'm going to open it up again all the way. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight smaller rectangles. Next, we're going to make a cut. Just so you can see where we're cutting, I'm taking my pencil and I'm drawing where the cut needs to go. One way of doing the cut is using an X-Acto knife and the help of a grown-up. But if you don't have that, we can still use scissors. This part you have to be very gentle to get your scissors into this piece of paper. Slowly and very carefully poke your scissors through the paper and carefully cut across this line. Once you get to this part, stop, pull your scissors out, now do you see this fold right now it's a valley fold or it's folding down we want it to be a mountain fold so fold it in the opposite direction so it stands up like a mountain that matches the one across from it now fold your paper in half lengthwise hot dog style again and gently push the pages together until it naturally wraps around no glue, no tape, no staples. Just make sure it has a nice crease and it will stay together. See? Now some people are bothered by how the pages can be open on the bottom, like right here. If that does bother you, just put a teeny tiny bit of glue stick to keep the pages together. But it really isn't necessary. Ta-da! Here's your mini zine. Now you can draw anything you want on the pages of your zine. I recommend using crayons or colored pencils because if you use markers, the ink will bleed through to the other side. You could draw, you can add stickers, anything you like. I wonder what your books are going to be about. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so you get to do a new art project every week. See you next time.